Looping a section of music is an essential tool to use whether you're learning a complex part or transcribing a solo. In this tutorial, we'll cover using loops in SongMaster. There are several ways to create a loop. You can drag in the top half of the bars track. Notice that dragging in the bars track will obey the current Snap 2 setting. You can also create a loop by dragging in the bottom part of the waveform. Notice that the cursor changes from a pointer cursor to a create loop cursor to let you know where you can create the loop. A third way to quickly create loops is to use shortcut keys. In the navigating tutorial, you learned that an easy way to move the playhead is to use the block of keys shown here. The middle key in each row can be used to quickly define a loop region. For example, I can loop the section that the playhead is in by pressing W. Pressing W again will turn off looping. Similarly, pressing X will toggle a loop for the current bar. If you have note markers, you can create a loop between them by pressing S. In this example, I've inserted note markers at each phrase to simplify transcribing and practicing the solo. I can use the A and D keys to move among the markers. When I get to a phrase I want to loop, I press S to create the loop. In a real situation, I might. We can also adjust the start and end points by dragging the loop markers. Note that the ends snap to half bars, which is the default. You can change the snap behavior in the control bar. For instance, let's set it to snap to beats. For finer adjustments, you can temporarily disable snapping by holding shift while dragging. To move the loop region, Drag the yellow bar. To toggle looping, click the loop button. Press the L key. Or double click the marker header. When learning or transcribing a phrase, it's often convenient to play the phrase, then pause a bit to hear yourself play it before playing the loop again. If you drag the very top part of a loop marker, you can create a silent region. For instance, let's say you are learning a one bar phrase. You can extend the curtain on the right for one bar. If the phrase you are learning has a pickup bar, you can use the left curtain to silence the pre pickup area. Here it's useful to turn off snapping by holding down shift while dragging. We may want to turn on the metronome to hear the counter. You can extend a loop by holding shift and pressing one of the keys on either side of the loop key. For example, we can extend the end of the loop by a bar by pressing shift C and extend the start by pressing Shift Z.